comic book shop owner. I own Comics Unlimited in Evansville, Indiana. And I bring this up because I also, as a fan, as well as a retailer, have a pretty good knowledge of the comic book industry. And I do seem to recall in the early in the 90s that there was a comic book called Punisher Meets Archie. The Punisher Archie Meets the Punisher. I remember that it was published both by Marvel Comics and Archie Comics at the same period of time with different covers. Basically, the story goes that there's a character named Red who's a kind of lookalike for Archie. And he's trying to escape the law, and he's trying to escape the Punisher. And so he travels to Riverdale. Now, this sounds absurd. You may not believe it, but yes, this is a real comic book. Archie meets the Punisher. Now, why do I specifically bring this one up? Because, again, my, my video parody, my video satire, my video spoof, it's all three, it dealt with the subject matter of a character dying. But that's where it ends, right? So, when Archie accused me of somehow doing something unwholesome because I dealt with the subject matter of death with their character, I have to think back on this, this, uh series. Well, it wasn't a series, it was a one-shot, but still, this special that they put out that they did in conjunction with Marvel, this this story that dealt with a character from Marvel that was established from the very beginning as being a person who at first was a mercenary, but later a vigilante. The Punisher's not a nice guy. How is that wholesome, Archie Comics Publications Incorporated, and what was your intent with teaming up your wholesome, beloved character, Archie, with a character that has always been known to be this vigilante who uses not only violence, he outright murders people. He's a mass murderer. Now, I have no problem with the Punisher whatsoever when he's being... Uh, basically marked it towards the proper audience. Marvel deals with a more mature audience, a more uh, sophisticated audience in a lot of ways, too. That's not a slam against Archie. Archie is meant to be, as a rule, wholesome family entertainment. So why did you have Archie team up with somebody who kills people? Now, many of you out there aren't comic book fans, so you may be wondering who the Punisher is. Of course, he's had movies. If you've seen the movies, that character is based off a of comic book character from Marvel Comics. That character was inspired by such things as the Executioner novels that were put out in the early 70s, as well as Dirty Harry movies. These are movies with graphic and novels with graphic violence that talk about vigilantes dispensing their own form of justice by killing, killing the criminals. Punisher has always had this history. Anybody who knows the Punisher knows that this is what he is about. The Punisher himself has appeared in many forms of media, there have been the comics, there have been the movies, and there have been video games. And one constant in all of these is that the character of Frank Castle, the Punisher, is portrayed to be a driven vigilante who uses weapons like uh, machine guns and knives and everything else to mete out violent justice to the criminals he dispatches. The Punisher movies that have been released have both been rated R. In fact, the Punisher from 2004 starring Thomas Jane, the rating by the MPAA was for pervasive, brutal violence, language, and brief nudity. Lexi Alexander, the director of Punisher Warzone, soon to be released, had this to say about the upcoming movie in 2008. On the rating for Warzone, she says, It will definitely be a hard R. It's pretty dark and violent in the comic books, as the Punisher fans know. There is really no boundary to his darkness. And Punisher fans wouldn't have it any other way because that's what those audiences expect. Again, I have no problem with the Punisher being portrayed that way. In fact, that's the way the that's what the Punisher is. And you knew that, Archie, when you teamed him with your character. Travis McFarlane of DVDVisionJapan.com wrote in his review of the Punisher video game by Volition, When I think of the Punisher, I think of a violent and bloody vigilante out for revenge. Apparently, Volition took what I thought, doused it in gallons of blood, torture, and empty shell casings, and created something that would cause the ESRB to implode upon contact. 
This game is based on the comics, and it captures the grisly and dank atmosphere present within its pages in appropriate detail. Nothing in Frank Castle's life is bright and cheery, nor is nothing in this game. From www.imdb.com Enter the mind of the Punisher, a vigilante driven by more than just revenge. Terrorized criminals using their own ruthless methods serve as judge, jury, and executioner in a world ruled by corruption. Live in the gritty, bullet-driven action ripped from the pages of Marvel's darkest stories. Where justice in punishment begins. Archie Comic Publications Incorporated willingly published a book that teamed its wholesome family character with the Punisher. So I have to ask you, in all sincerity, Archie Comp Publications Incorporated, you and even your legal representatives, when you say that somehow my video, my video parody, the one that just said that Archie had died due to an accidental death because of Reggie going, losing his temper, when you say that, that somehow tarnishes and blemishes your trademark and your image and the connection, somehow affects the connection between you and your fans. What did you do when you teamed it with the Punisher? When you teamed your character, Archie Andrews, with the Punisher? Okay? Because we're talking about a character that, as you see, is known by many of its fans, by all of the fans of the Punisher. They know what he's about. That's why everybody, when they hear Archie meets the Punisher, they go, you got to be joking. Was that a real book? Was that real? See, I've had that happen. I own a comic shop. Believe me. I've had people ask me that several times. They're like, you're joking. I'm like, no. No, Archie Comics really teamed its character with the Punisher. So, yeah, I'm going to ask you. How dare you say that somehow my video is more tarnishing to the image of your character than something you did yourself. <laughs> and you know what? It was as a cheap marketing gimmick. What other explanation do you have? Why else would you team the Punisher with Archie? What other valid reason can you give? And in there, you tarnished the image. And you did more so than anything I could have done in what is just a parody video. This is not because you had me add a disclaimer at the beginning of the video, even though there was a disclaimer in that video. This is because I'm asking you, how dare you accuse me of somehow tarnishing, of selling, of you know, creating this, this bad will towards your characters when it did not happen. I don't expect an apology from Archie Comic Publications Incorporated. I think I deserve it. I don't expect it. I don't believe that my video in any way tarnished the image of Archie Comics. And I do strongly still assert that I had the right to make a parody and that I had the right to, under fair use laws, to use images I did, that I spoofed and parodied Archie Comics as well as the comic book industry in general with some of the things I said and did in that video. I'm not the one that's going around and giving hell to people who put up websites dedicated to their babies. And I'm not the one that's taking your wholesome characters and teaming them up with mass murderers. I wonder how many parents would really appreciate the fact that Archie was teamed up with the Punisher if they knew just what the Punisher was all about when that issue was released. This is all factual. This is all stuff that you did. I'm not saying anything that isn't true. I object to any claims that their rights were violated when they violated my rights. I don't think I did anything wrong. I will contend that. I will fight for that belief. And even though my video's up and we reached a compromise, I'm just making this clear for everybody out there that I did nothing wrong. And I had every right to do my video, even if I didn't decide to make a compromise with you. So, there you go. That's my video. And I hope you enjoyed it. Yeah!